Uh, James is still doing his thing though. Jesus Christ, James. Well, at least we broke his record uh, last time. Alright, Goliath. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Colyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, 
that I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Hot damn. Is James still there? No, he's not. Let me change something real quick. Alright, so I'm normally in a voice room. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this, uh, for like the last bit of the game. Alright, Liara. I assume we've got to save Liara for last. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... Exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Well then. I mean, that worked out. At least not like James, who is going to... Or you can actually uh, sh show off your pull-ups. All right. Yara, since she is also the one that my character is apparently going with, so, uh, here we go. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song.
Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after... Every day after. Shepard. Glyph, you are a fucking show off of that piano. Oh, you're still here. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Well then, uh, let's set up the invitations because. Uh, that's the last thing we can do now. Fuck it, I'm going to invite all of them. could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit. Even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. Bet we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. Please, I've asked you to step back. <laughs> <laughs> Help! My glasses empty! I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. So, Leora. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please. Build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain.
This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chakwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Wait, it's a bow tie now, and that's it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tari. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. Hey, guys. Duck and chop. No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. This is as dangerous and close to actually being a... Wow. There's another hey, group here. Hard. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters. Right? Wow. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait. And the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, 
I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Okay. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Wow. Alright, so we're probably either upstairs or they're in the back here. Here's the thing, beautiful. Yeah, probably upstairs. Yep. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Wow. Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? <laughs> so true. Tolly, please stop helping. Perfect. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, Trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. Right. That was a conversation and a half. Jesus Christ, what did I step into? I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't well, come I'm... in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you, it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Is this Commander Shepard? Oh my god, oh my god! I can't believe it's you! Runt? Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! 
Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. I am... Um, actually, I can still talk to Grant. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck. You again? <sighs> I thought you were dead. You should really upgrade the security. <laughs> Oi. Ah. What was the name? There is also apparently a group of hairstyles. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that. Every chance I get. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. There. All right, Cliff is my next target again. Good. Cliff. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Um. <laughs> Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time? Too dangerous. We'd light the room on. Hell yeah! Go for it! Captain on deck! Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with my Though so I won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Fucking hell, Joker. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varn. Oh, good grief. <laughs> oh, pretty big. What's going on over here? Okay. Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry, this happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. <laughs> you know, before we get, um... Shot? Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a oh, sword. God. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Dancing is often considered... Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Who's here? Is it morning already? Good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's see if anyone else is up. Shepard, good morning. I am going to die. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. 
Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. Wild time. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Well then. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Um. <laughs> Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Uh. Uh. I think you're holding it not by the bar. I think you're. Hey. Uh, sure. You look like shit. Ah, thanks. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I think I broke my head on something last night. Now that was a great time. Hi, right, James Cooking. Okay. Okay, who wants eggs? They are eggs. Trainer. Esteban, eggs, Joker. Where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs. Tally, ah, she'll definitely want eggs. <laughs> Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Well then. So last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I don't know. But uh, let's return to the Normandy. Oh, can still wait for Cortez. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Yeah, that's just a return to the Normandy. Sure.
Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right. But whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. We're back. Yeah, it, it's time for me to start on the uh, the end. I'm ready for it. <laughs> 